Hey guys, welcome to a Python uh, tutorial video. This video is going to be covering variables. If you are not familiar with variables in Python, um, this is the video for you. So the first thing that we're going to go over is uh, we're going to try to get different types of variables. Um, and we'll, we'll get into that in a moment. The first thing that we need to do is define a variable. What is a variable? A variable is a type of storage. So variable equal storage. That is the simplest way of thinking of a variable. For example, uh, imagine a bucket filled with absolutely nothing. In fact, I'm going to give you store storage. I, I thought I spelled something wrong there. Um, let's say we just have x equals. Right now, the variable is x, right? So x is our variable. x equals absolutely nothing, which means x is completely empty. There is nothing inside of x. x means absolutely nothing. x doesn't have a value. Um, we could say that x has no value in life right now. What we need to do is give x a little bit of value. We need x to have something, something uh, to give it value. Um, just like we have the bucket, right? x is an empty bucket filled with absolutely nothing. So to give it something, we need to just put something after the equal sign. Simply, we're going to put a 1. So now x equals 1. x's value is the number 1, no matter what, right? As long as it equals 1. So now let's go ahead and find different ways or different types of these variables. So now we know that x once equaled 1, right? Let's try, in, this is an example of an integer, but we're going to go into that right now, integers. So an integer is any number that is not a decimal. So x can equal 1, and we can put that as x equals 1. It can be a 2, it could be a 3, it could be a 1,000, it could be 5,000, it could be negative 1, it could be negative 1,000, it could be anything. So in this case, x equals 1, and that is it. That's all we know. And then we also have doubles, or a double, but in this case it's going to be plural. So I'm going to use a y for this double. So for example, 1.5 would be a double. Uh, double just means that it has a decimal. That's all we need to know for now, is that it has a decimal. That's what a double is. Now, let's get into strings. What is a string? A string is a collection of characters. Um, and a character, an example of a character is like the letter A, or the dollar sign, or the number three. Anything can be a character. Now, in this language, in Python, we're going to let Z equal some sort of character. In Python, we need quotes. These can be double quotes or single quotes, but we want just double quotes because it's the standard, right? A lot of people use double quotes. So what we would do is put in some sort of word, like apple. Apple is my usually my go-to word for showing an example on programming because you can do so many things with an apple, right? So in this case, we have apple. And Apple is our series of characters. We have the capital letter A, we have two lowercase p, p's, and then we have a lowercase l and a lowercase e. All of these create our string. So our strings consist of the list of characters here. So that is what a string is. If we wanted to know what an array was. Now this is where things get a little complicated. So we're running out of variables that we can use because x already has value of 
1, y has a value of 1.5, string has a value of apple. Now we have arrays, which are just a collection of items. It does not matter what type of items. For example, we can do a collection of numbers. 1, 2, 3. We can also do a collection of characters, which is traditionally in single quotes. You can do double quotes if you'd like. I'm going to do single quotes. So we can have A, B, C, and all of these represent some sort of character. And we can do full words as well for strings. We're going to delete this and then apple. We're going to do pear. We're going to do... Uh, I can't think of another fruit. Star fruit. <laughs> there we go. I don't know why that came to mind, but uh, we can make an array. Now, the only real thing that you need to know about arrays, because arrays are very, very tricky sometimes, is that you can call if you ever need to use it anywhere. Um, let's say we wanted to do a print. A print simply puts information on your screen. So if we wanted to print A, in fact, it's going to be very crazy in a minute because a bunch of stuff's going to pop up, but it simply prints the whole array, apple, pear, starfruit, which is really nice. So now we have the whole array. But what if we just wanted apple, right? So indexes start from 0, 1, 2. That is the count of an array. So this is called the index. The index is a position. So let's put 0. So why am I putting 0? Because I would like apple as my return. And what do you know? We ended up getting apple on this one. This is from the last time we ran it. This is the new one. So now we have apple as our uh, output. So what if we want pair? Well, let's put 1 because pair is in position 1. This is 0, 1, 2. Right? Let's save it. Let's run it. Now we have pair. So uh, that's how an array works. That is the end of the variables, the variables tutorial. Um, these are just some basic variables that you can get to know. Um, there's all sorts of things that you can do with these. With strings, the same principle applies with arrays, because remember, uh, it's just a collection of characters. So, if we wanted to print z, 0, position 0 is right here, we actually can print that, and we get the letter A. If we wanted to print position 1, which is the letter P, we can get that right there. So there's all sorts of things that we can do with these variables. And later on, uh, I'll be making another video on how to modify variables. Because there's all sorts of ways that we can mess with them and do things with them to uh, give them different values and different purposes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope that these videos are able to help you in the future and you will be able to master Python uh, through your own skills and being able to figure it out for yourself.